this is the traditional chapter dealing with the fundamentals of science which is basically the interaction between the subatomic particles again a beautiful domain where people told electricity separate was acquiring knowledge of things around us hello students this is sd sir from the temple of excellence vidyashram pre university mysore a new chapter a very fundamental chapter rather than acute physics this is a traditional chapter dealing with the fundamentals of science we start discussing something called as physical world we don't study any quantum physics here we don't study condensed matter physics here no theoretical physics but the elements or the fundamentals that give us the importance of science the scope of physics significance of technologies and so on so we start understanding something called as the physical world the basic attempt here in this chapter is to understand the nature around us what basically is nature what are the happenings happening around us therefore we call it the physical world happenings around us what is science the domains of science contribution of science to the development of humanity society inventions that is all what we talk about in this chapter so i told if i have a quick review of this chapter first it is the scope of physics what actually physics is what do we turn to understand here how is it beneficial to the human mankind so the first thing that we gravitate here is the scope of physics now we know physics has a very large scope a very large application it has a tremendous range of covering physical quantities right from the subatomic particles to the macroscopic world physics deals with the understanding of the interaction of the quantum world which is basically the interaction between the subatomic particles elementary particles to the behavior of the macroscopic world for example right 
from understanding the mass of an electron which is 10 power minus 31 kgs to the size of the universe. 10 power 55 kgs. Physics has a wide enough scope. Therefore, we say in order to understand the physical world around us, the nature around us, physics has a wide scope ranging from the subatomic world to the macroscopic world. So students, to better understand what is physics, it is nothing but to understand the nature or the physical world around us. So this is all at a single line to summarize what is the scope of physics. Now, a few reasons as to why physics is exciting. The interesting facts as to understand why physics is more interesting. To understand my very own existence, to understand about the place where I exist, physics has a dominant role to play. It is very challenging and exciting to unfold and detect the secrets of nature with purely imaginative, imaginative experiments. See, for example, what is responsible for the gravitational field? Gravitons. A whole lot of experiments have been carried on on gravitons. Just to know the field which is responsible for my existence. People before told, atom is the most elementary particle. No other smallest particle can exist in nature. They were able to probe the atom, detect the nucleus, protons and neutrons. And today we have thousands and thousands of elementary particles. So rapidly, a great challenge has been taken up in physics just to unveil the secrets of nature, to know what I am. Electromagnetism, again, a beautiful domain where people told electricity is separate, boss. Magnetism is separate. Physics told nothing to do. You can unify the principles of electricity and magnetism. I have electromagnetic theory. So physics is quite interesting because it takes up challenges to unveil the secrets of nature. There is an innovative approach for applying physical laws where law of conservation of energy is applied. Law of conservation of mass is applied. Law of conservation of charge is applied. And how beneficial is these laws 
when it comes to technology. This is the biggest gift of physics to the betterment of the society. Basic concepts, fundamental principles and the laws that can explain the nature around us. Any complicated phenomenon around us, nuclear reactions, thermodynamic reactions, quantum phenomenon, any complicated behavior phenomenon are simple to be explained through the concepts of physics. So this is a few reasons which make physics quite interesting to understand. The next one, the basic understanding of the terms here. The first one is to know what is science. We say science is a systematic, a systematic understanding of nature around us. Very beautiful term, very, very important. Systematic understanding. Now, what is this systematic understanding? I did not learn my Pythagoras theorem in my first standard, trigonometric ratios in my second standard. Then in my high school, I was taught the number system, basic addition, multiplication, no. First, in my lower classes, I was taught the number system, basic operation on numbers, Simple geometry, then I come to understand Pythagoras theorem, trigonometry and so on. My dear students, you see a systematics there. It is not chaotic understanding of things around us. I did not learn radioactivity in my first standard. I did not learn soft condensed matter physics in my lower classes. I was basically taught what is an atom, what is a molecule, what is force, and then all higher concepts, which means science basically means understanding things around us acquiring knowledge of things around us in a more systematic manner, not haphazard, not random, no disorderness. Systematics in understanding the nature around us is what we call science. And then what is physics? Physics is basically taken from the Greek word fuses, which means nature. The extraction of the word physics is from fuses, which means nature. And physics is understanding the interaction of force with matter. I apply some force, the body moves. I apply some opposing force, body stops. How Matter is interacting to force. That is all at the low fundamental level we talk about physics. 
So physics means fuses, which means nature. Mechanics, I've already taught you all in one dimensional motion. Take it up to understand as an assignment. These are the different domains of physics. Electrodynamics. Just now I spoke. It is nothing but unifying the principles of electricity and magnetism. No more electricity is a different entity. No more magnetism is a different domain. Their principles are always unified and that is what we have as electrodynamics. Optics. It is basically to understand the properties of light, origin of light, propagation of light from one medium to another. So simply understanding light is what we do in optics. Thermodynamics, relating heat and temperature. We have already studied the separate unit on it. How heat energy is converted to mechanical work and vice versa. Mesoscopic physics, cryogenic physics. It is soft condensed matter physics. Understanding the subatomic world. So, in my today's session, students, we had an exposure to the fundamentals of physical world. What is physics? What is science? The domains of physics. The next session, I come up with the contribution of physics to the society. Until then, have a nice time. Thank you.